U.S. China meet on restricting illegal fentanyl supply. Pelosi, Russian funding behind pro Hamas protests. Introduction. Hello and welcome to the Capture the Intelligence channel. Today we are diving into two significant news developments that have recently unfolded. First, we will examine the upcoming meeting between China and the United States in Beijing to address the illegal supply of fentanyl. Then we will turn our attention to Speaker Nancy Pelosi's remarks regarding the protests. Support of Hamas and the alleged involvement of Russia in funding these demonstrations. So, without further ado, let's get started. China U.S. meeting on fentanyl supply. The White House has announced that a historic meeting between the United States and China will take place in Beijing this week, likely on Monday or Tuesday. The primary focus of this meeting is to establish a working group dedicated to combating the illicit supply of fentanyl and its precursors. This initiative stems from President Biden's discussions with Chinese President Xi Jinping, where they agreed to form a joint task force to tackle this pressing issue. The main objective of this working group is to facilitate cooperation and coordination between the two nations in combating the illegal production, financing, and distribution of fentanyl. By working together, the U.S. and China aim to support bilateral law enforcement operations and address the shared challenge of fentanyl traffic. The U.S. delegation to this inaugural meeting will be led by the Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security and will comprise senior officials from various departments, including the State Department, Treasury, and Justice. The issue of fentanyl has been a significant concern for the U.S., with China previously exporting fentanyl directly to the country. However, after fentanyl was classified as a controlled substance in the U.S., China shifted its strategy to exporting precursors, which are then smuggled to Mexico and processed into fentanyl. In response, the U.S. has also designated fentanyl precursors as illicit substances. Despite these efforts, China continues to engage in the production and trafficking of fentanyl precursors, often exploiting loopholes in the law. The U.S. hopes that this meeting will initiate a dialogue that leads to meaningful cooperation in curbing the flow of fentanyl and its precursors. Pelosi's remarks on pro-Hamas protests. In a separate development, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has called on the FBI to investigate the recent protests in the United States in support of Hamas during the Gaza conflict. Pelosi believes that some of these protests may have been influenced or funded by Russia. Pelosi's concerns stem from the fact that the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, UNWA, has has been accused of having links to Hamas. Several countries have suspended their funding to UNRWA due to these allegations. Pelosi's comments have drawn criticism from the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, which has labeled her statements as Islamophobic and harmful to the Palestinian cause. The Council on American Islamic Relations (CARE) has also condemned Pelosi's remarks, stating that they demonize and dehumanize Palestinians. Despite these criticisms, Pelosi. Pelosi's comments have shifted the focus on the potential involvement of foreign actors, particularly Russia, in fueling anti-Israel sentiments in protests in the U.S. The upcoming meeting between China and the U.S. on fentanyl supply and Speaker Pelosi's remarks regarding pro-Hamas protests highlight the complexities of international relations and the challenges in addressing transnational issues. These developments underscore the need for ongoing diplomatic efforts. Intelligence gathering and cooperation among nations to combat illicit activities, promote peace, and uphold democratic values. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel. Thanks for watching.